Hi, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your development environment for Nextcloud. Maybe you'd like to contribute to an existing app for Nextcloud, or you want to write your own. This is how you can get started. This tutorial has three parts. First we're going to install Docker Desktop, then we will install Nextcloud in Docker, and lastly we will install the template app. There's also a blog post linked in the description below that describes all these steps. And there are also instructions for how to do this under Ubuntu or Windows. I'm gonna do this on macOS today, so let's get started. Alright, step 1. First we're gonna download and install Docker Desktop. For that, head to docker.com slash product slash docker dash desktop and click on download Docker Desktop. Follow the installation procedure. When you are done, you will have the Docker Desktop app on your computer. Next, open the Docker Desktop app, read and accept the Terms of Service. You might see a pop-up where you have to give Docker Desktop privileged access. Just follow the procedure by clicking the OK button and fill in the password. You might also see a pop-up with the tip of the week, which you can just click away. Also, please note you have to keep this app open while following the next steps of this tutorial. Alright, next up we're gonna install Xcode Select, which is a set of developer tools. For that we'll open the terminal and type in xcode-select-install. This command either starts the installation or tells you that Xcode is already installed. If Xcode is already installed then you can continue to the next step of this tutorial. Alright, with Docker Desktop and Xcode installed, we can get to the second part of the tutorial where we install Nextcloud in Docker. For that, head over to the GitHub repo linked in the description below and scroll down to the Simple Master Setup section. From there, you can simply copy the list of commands and paste them into a terminal. This will retrieve the code from GitHub and install Nextcloud. This entire process can take much longer than you expect. If you think the process is frozen, it's probably not. Um, be patient, for me it took about 20 minutes on a very fast internet connection. Alright, with that out of the way, you can now access your Nextcloud by pointing your web browser to nextcloud.local. If that nextcloud.local address doesn't work, then there's an alternate way. Navigate in your Docker desktop apps under Containers, Master and look out for nextcloud-1. And then behind that three dot menu, there's an entry called Open with Browser that takes you to the page. You might be asked to update. Simply follow the procedure by clicking the button Start Update, followed by Continue to Nextcloud. Back on the login screen, please log in with the username admin and the password admin. Obviously, you can change that later. And this brings us to our last step downloading the Nextcloud template app. For that, head over to apps.nextcloud.com slash developer slash apps slash generate. You will see a form where you have to fill in some information. Here are some tips. Uh, the app name is camel case, so make sure that there are no punctuations or spaces in there. For issue tracker URL, if you are serious about developing an app for the App Store, you need to fill in a link to the repository where users can report problems and request features. If you are not serious about this for now, since you are just starting out, just enter an example URL. After all of that, you will get a tar.gz file. Extract this file, you will get a folder with the name of your app. Copy this folder. Find the folder nextcloud-docker-dev. This folder is usually in the root folder, as this is where you've started the git clone command in the tutorial install nextcloud docker. Open the folder nextcloud-docker-dev and then navigate to Workspace, Server and Apps-Extra. Paste the folder of your app in the Apps-Extra folder. And for the last step, we're gonna enable the template app in your Nextcloud. For that, go to Nextcloud in your browser, click on your avatar in the top right menu, click on Apps, you should see your app listed in the overview of your apps. Enable your app by clicking on the button Enable or on the red button Enable Untested App followed by the button Enable. Your app should now appear on the blue bar on the top. And obviously the app will be totally empty. 
I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure to check out the blog post and the forum post about this with more details linked in the description below. What kind of app would you like to develop or contribute to? Let us know and also if you would like to see more or different kind of tutorials, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon with the next video. Bye!